You can see there are two segments which are on. So I'm going to explain you how I have configured that. So the top segment is my idle segment. When let's say you are connecting the strip to your machine or a process, and if the process or some uh, which is idle in idle state, I can use this top segment, which is white. This means it's an idle state. And then you have second segment, which is yellow right now, which means this is in the manual mode. I can also switch the system into automatic mode using my inputs here. So let's say right now we are in we are in manual mode and now I want to switch to automatic mode. This I can do using the selector switch here. So when I turn it on, I have a blow indication on the third segment, which indicates that my system is in automatic mode. So I define the top, top segment as an idle state. The next segment is for manual mode. And the segment next to it is my automatic mode. And then comes two more segments. This is a five segment LED strip. Now, if I want to bring my system into running state, so right now it's in automatic mode, and I press the button and bring it to the run state. Now you can see that my segment one, this is configured with green color. This means it's in running state and my idle state is off, okay? If I want to turn off my system, I can press this NC switch. Now it will go back to idle state, okay? Now let's say I want to do that in manual mode. So right now this automatic off, I can switch to manual, then I can again go to run. Now this is my manual running state, okay? Manual idle state, automatic idle state, automatic running state, and again, automatic idle state. Now I have two more inputs. Now let's say I'm running in automatic mode and I have an emergency situation. So I have to press an e-stop. I press this one and I will see I have red light blinking. This means it's an emergency situation, okay? Now this segment has been configured with red light and I have programmed my PLC to have a blinking output, which you can see that over here, all right? But this LED also has an inbuilt blinking function. You can use that. I didn't use it, but it's possible to enable this segment as a blinking segment inside the software. <laughs> so this was now blinking and I released the e-stop. It's still blinking because I have to acknowledge it. So I acknowledge using this reset button. And when I press it, I again go back to the idle state of automatic mode. So you have clear indication what's going on in your machine using this LED strip. I can release it and I can acknowledge it. Now I'm back to manual idle mode. Let's say I'm running in the manual mode and now accidentally somebody switched the mode, which is not the ideal because first you have to stop the system. But I switch the mode and now again, I can switch the mode to automatic, but my system goes to idle again. It will not be in the running state. Thank you.